Hello, good morning, and welcome to another intriguing episode of A Mother's Body. And your host, as usual, is Omolola Abekoya. I know it's been quite a while. A lot has happened all through last month. Last month was an exciting month for me, a wedding anniversary. So it was a really loaded and packed month for us. However, <laughs> that is not a reason to abandon my duties. But, you know, it's been, it was a very busy month. Anyway, I'm back now and um, today I honestly in the past few weeks I've been thinking of how to approach this topic and I spoke with a few mothers and I realized that we all have the same concern and I will be talking about sleepovers, sleepovers yes, but before I go into talking about sleepover, before I you know dive into the topic fully, um, I want to advise us as parents, you know, before we allow our children to go out or sleep over, there are some basic things that I think our children need to be aware of and as mothers that we need to educate them about. Take for example, you want your child to go on sleep over, what does your child know about sex education? Is your child ready to be that exposed? Even on a play date? Do you think your child is ready for that task or for that journey? Because I know, you know, doing my research, a lot of things happen. But as parents, I think it behoves us to, to educate our children appropriately and make sure that in maturity-wise, I'm not talking about age. Age has nothing to do with maturity. But in maturity-wise and in readiness, that they are ready to take that that step of sleepover. Now, before you send your child away for a sleepover or to play overnight, you need to be sure that your child understands the different parts of his or her body. You need to be sure that they are not nicknaming their vagina or their penis or even their breast. You need to be sure that they understand what appropriate touch means and what appropriate touch is not. You need to let them understand that there is no secret. You need to let them understand that when you go out there and come back in here, you have to tell me everything that happened. It's not leashing, but it's just a way of trying to follow up with your children. You also need to let them realize some basic nitty gritty about themselves. Personal hygiene, taking good care of themselves. When they wake up in the morning, what is the first thing they do? Do they just wake up and just, you know, look at the people around them? Or are they courteous enough to say good morning? and to help in the house, you know, to do whatever chores they are doing. And what are the kind of movies that the children they are going to sleep over with? Do you know what their culture is? Culture in the sense that what the parents accept and what is not acceptable in the home. Do you understand the language that they communicate in? Now when I'm talking about language, I don't mean English language or your native dialect. I'm talking about the lingua franca. I'm talking about the language of the family. Like some family says some words as, you know, acceptable, but you might not see it as acceptable. And if you're trying to teach your children that those are, it might not be inappropriate for them, but for us, in our family, it is inappropriate. Now, if you place your child in such situation, are you sure your child is able and ready, you know, to uh, mature enough to wait off? or to be able to maneuver himself or herself out of that situation. Now, like I said, I'm not going to dive more into um, sleepover now, but that is the topic. However, we will be treating all these little parts of um, what I just shared with us as time goes on, because our children need to be properly educated before we send them away on a sleepover. I have my personal opinion about sleepover, so do you. But before then, before we dive into it, let's take a breather and think about everything I just said and everything I shared. Until I see you same time, next week, keep staying in the Lord and keep watching over those children. And remember, they are not our children. They are God's children. He entrusted them in our care. And you as a parent, you are responsible to take care of them.